our supervisor. She's here and we're here to celebrate your accomplishments in the Ever Five Financial Literacy Program. And we would like to get some ideas or some input from you, what you thought about the program and some things that you may have to learn from the students. Let's say, um, we learned about retail business Do you know what's happened to the stock since then? Since, it, since they offered it? Uh, it went they, they went down. They went down. They went down by a lot, by about 25%. Right. That actually works for its end, so we've got a lot of good conversations. Yeah, they're not doing uh, that. No. No. So, yeah, if you, if you bought $1,000 with a Facebook stock on Friday, you now have $750. Oh. Right. So, that $250 just kind of disappears. And which is, which is crazy when you think about it. So it's like, how does money just go away? And you think, well, it's just all kind of numbers anyway. It went at least electronically before you withdraw. But, um, it's, uh, but hopefully it goes back up because you don't invest for, for three days. It's more of a long-term thing. But, um, but yeah, absolutely. So Facebook is, is something that if you want to invest in, the stock's a little bit lower than it was now. So maybe it's a good time to buy. Who knows? If you don't think it's going to go down anymore, you might want to wait. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it was great to be with you guys um, back in February. Recognize some of you. So. Thanks for being here today. Congratulations on, on getting certified. Um, how many of you in here plan on making money at some point during your life? How many? Okay, so everybody, right? So this is going to be something, this, the EverFi is a lesson that you go through now, but it is real life topics that you're going to need to use throughout your adult life, no matter what your personal trajectory is. Whether you're a junior right now and you're going to have a summer job or you're graduating and you're going to go to college or the workforce or do whatever, then you're gonna have some amount of money to manage. And the more smart you can be, the better decisions you can make, the more empowered you'll be later on when it's time to buy a car, buy a house,
finance something because you have that credit score, and I know that's one of your modules. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I do want to recognize one of our special guests. Um, Ms. Boone was here. Thank you for, for being here. Um, and also Mr. Chris Haskew of Capital One. Capital One, as you know from logging in every day, um, is, is the sponsor for all Caddo Parish and a lot of other uh, districts in Northwest Louisiana. Um, this software is not free. Nothing in life is free, and somebody has to pay for it. Um, luckily, the school district does not have to pay for it. Um, school district has a lot of other things to spend its money on, like computers and the building and teacher salaries and things like that. So we're really, really grateful for Capital One for, for sponsoring the, the Everfly Financial Literacy Program. Capital One all actually sponsors across seven different states um, across the nation, and they are a very important um, client of Everfly. So uh, thank you for Capital One sponsorship, and I'll turn it over to Mr. Haskey, who has a few words for you. Yeah, sure. I wrote a couple of things down because I didn't want to forget a couple of important points, but thanks, Trey, and Ms. Hamilton, Ms. Boone, uh, for allowing me to be here. I'm Chris Haskey. I'm the market president here for Capital One Bank, and I just wanted to thank everybody for being here. Congratulate all of you for completing this program. It's an important program. Uh, the bank, through our Investing uh, for Good program, uh, spend a lot of time, a lot of volunteer hours and money. We're proud to do so in the community. And we do it really through four, through four phases. Small business and workforce development that helps everybody get prepared for the workforce. Affordable housing. Um, financial literacy and education. And obviously financial literacy is why we're here today. Um, and we're, we're just thrilled to be here. Thrilled for all of you that have completed it. Uh, and we thank Everfi, obviously, for all of your um, hard work and effort that goes into it. There's a lot of work and, and financial resources that go into it. And, and thank you, Ms. Hamilton, for, for leading these students as well, too. Uh, I know you learned a lot in this program. I know I'm standing in the middle of it here. But budgeting and uh, how to run a business and the stock market and basic things like that. So we're real thrilled that everybody went through it. And just want to thank you guys for going, going through this program. And, I think one last thing I would tell you, I didn't write this down, but I thought about it. I want everybody to know something. We were, we were talking about Facebook earlier. Who uses Facebook, by the way? Do all you guys use it? Does anybody know the, the founder's name? Can you remember it? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. That's exactly right. Mark Zuckerberg. Now, think, everybody look at me right now for a second. Mark Zuckerberg in college had an idea, okay? From that idea to today, what is today? May the 23rd. He's worth 17 billion dollars because of an idea he had, okay? And I want everyone in you to know this. Anybody in this room can do the same thing. Any of you guys could own your own business, make money, and do good for others. Work hard, make good grades. I promise you it can happen to any of you guys. There's a lot of stories like that, and it can happen to every one of you too. So thanks again for letting us be here. Proud to be here today. Thanks. This time, um, we have some certificates we printed out for you. I've seen the certificates around the room, and that's that's great that Ms. Hamilton, that you've, you've already done that. So um, we have them here, Ms. Hamilton. If you wouldn't mind, uh, if you wouldn't mind calling out the names, since you obviously know the students, uh, we can do that. And then when you hear your your name called, you just come up and uh, get your certificate. I mean, this is important stuff. This is something it that is. if you are gonna, if you're looking for a summer job now, and I know we're um, up here. Thanks. Um, I know that we were talking earlier with uh, one of the gentlemen back there who's already looking for a summer job. This is something you can take to your employer and say, hey, look, this is something I've learned in school. This is something I've learned in class that will differentiate you from those other kids at other high schools across the, the city that are looking for that same summer job. Okay, so you can take this. Um, this is important stuff. You know, put it on your wall at home. Put it on your resume. Um, celebrate this because this is important stuff. So we'll, um, we'll get the... Gets passed down. Okay, and I would like to, the very first student that finished this, and she finished it up in like about a week's time or less, and uh, whereas it took some of you a little bit, much, much, much longer, and that student uh, is Alicia Banks. And it's the certificate, all the certificate reads the same, says congratulations to Alicia Banks for successfully completing the financial scholars program, and it has the Everfi sealed on it, and they printed out some more with some good, um, some good quality paper. And uh, Ms. Boone says she has the uh, um, covers for Okay, all right, Alicia.
Nostrum, on Twitter, all these are seniors. I called and contacted them to come. Christopher Harris, Shanisha Holly. We had like about 15 of them. Okay, Willie C. Williams.